Welcome to a special bonus episode of the Jesus Calling Podcast. As we approach Christmas, it's nice to reflect on the gift God gave us through Jesus and how he served the people in his circle and beyond and how he shows up for us through others in ways we'd never expect. Have you ever received a gift that was so intentional it brought you to tears? Or maybe you've even given a gift that ended up having a profound effect on someone else's life. This holiday season, we're talking to several people who know a few things about meaningful gifts and what it means to them to provide a place of business in the community for people to find gifts and resources that lift others up and what it's like to be in service to the people around us, especially at this time of the year. First up, we'll hear from Donna McCullough of Dove Christian Supply. My name is Donna McCullough, and I am a second-generation owner of Dove Christian Supply in Dothan, Alabama. My husband and I actually took over the business five years ago. His parents started the business back in 1982, and we started working there shortly after we got married. Here I am. 30 years later almost, I guess, working in the Christian bookstore that I used to shop at when I was a teenager growing up, sharing God's love, encouragement with my community, providing Christian resources, you know, just trying to encourage this world that needs all the encouragement it can get, to be honest. We've learned so much over the years working with his mom and dad and preparing us to take over, I mean, in really challenging times for the last several years, just trying to keep the business running, you know, realizing what we do provide our community as far as faith-based products. What we are about is encouraging faith, inspiring change, and sharing life, not just our personal lives with our community because we grew up in our community, but the life that comes from knowing Jesus Christ. As far as our community, we want to play a bigger role in other organizations that provide services to our community. Like we contribute every month to a local crisis pregnancy and family center that provides not just pregnancy counseling, but family counseling, parenting classes. We've just started in the last couple of years supporting the Angel Tree for Salvation Army. And we want to partner with organizations like that to, you know, reach those that need hope and encouragement on an everyday basis. I mean, we may not be able to provide that, but we can support other organizations that do. But besides that, just being a place where people can come in to find hope, find encouragement. We have so many people that walk through our doors that, well, they're amazed by the product we have, but they, they say that I just feel, I feel God's spirit here. So, you know, we want to try to be that refuge that can come even if it's just a shop and get a few moments, but find something while they're there to help them in their faith walk and encourage them on their way. We've carried Jesus Calling from the very beginning, but over the years, we have customers that have continued to come in and buy copies, not just for themselves, but for their friends, their family. We went back and added up just trying to tally how many we've sold over the years, just at the Jesus Calling imprint, and over 3,500 copies, which is amazing for a book to have that much impact. That's 3,500 people that have encouraging words they can turn to and feel as if Jesus is speaking directly to their hearts. You know, we've asked customers, it was like, why do you buy this? And they say, every time I pick it up, it's like, just what I needed for that day. I myself have picked it up randomly over the years, and it just seemed to be that kind of encouragement that I needed for that particular moment I was in, that that circumstance I was experiencing. So I think that God has used Jesus Calling to just be encouragement to people because we want to hear Jesus speak into our hearts. I think we desire that, but sometimes we just don't take the time to sit and listen. And I think the devotional helps us take that pause and recognize that His He is calling to us if we'll just take a minute and listen. I do have an ongoing desire to learn to pray, to dig in, learn to listen and be still in God's presence. In the best times of my life, praying, giving praise to God, in the worst times, just begging for wisdom, insight, encouragement, whether 
writing in my journal my prayers, crying with no words to pray, and just laughing, giving thanks for the ways that He's answered prayers in my life. It's been, I don't think I would be where I am without prayer, to be honest. I, and I've had so many people. I have a praying mom, praying parents, praying parents-in-laws, you know, and their prayers have definitely carried me over the years to be where I'm at now, to encourage others, I guess, in the position that I'm in as a Christian bookstore owner. So prayer is definitely a big part of my faith. (laughs) Over the last couple of years in my prayer life, I've just prayed for God to give me the wisdom and the strength to each day remember to focus on Him, to trust Him with things that I cannot control, to lean into His Word and His guidance, into what can I do to make a difference in someone's life, how can I grow closer to Him, and just how I can keep my eyes focused on what He has in front of me to bring Him glory as I I learn to just grow in my faith, become more in tune with Him, I guess. Susan Lewis, co-owner of Logos Bookstore. My name is Susan Lewis. My husband Rick and I own Logos Bookstore in Dallas. We've been serving the community. The store has been there for 48 years and we've been apart for 42 years. So it's what we do. I'm the gift buyer, Rick's the book buyer, and we love being able to be with our customers every day. Our bookstore was opened in 1974 by Chuck and Lois Schechner. Ironically, my husband Rick and I met in their son's home in college at a prayer meeting, and we got married the same summer that the store opened. So every year we have a double anniversary, and this year it's hitting 48, which is hard to believe. We do think community bookstores are very important and can almost be the heartbeat of the community. And we've been told over and over again by our community how important and how vital we are, that we are like the city on the hill, the the lamppost, the light that needs to shine. People come in with all kinds of prayer requests and needs, and we are there to love on them, and we count it a privilege. Jesus Calling has been one of our most important titles and has been in the number one spot many times since it came into publication. In fact, we've sold about 8,500 various Jesus Calling Sarah Young titles and product. And so we see people, it's interesting because it doesn't matter the age or the stage or the gender, male, female, young, old, teen, Jesus Calling can meet those needs. And it's just beautiful how every day it's fresh, it's new, and it's Jesus talking to you about trust. And the thing I appreciate the most is that it's all based on God's Word, and that makes it even more special for people. Prayer is foundational, and I've certainly seen that in my life. One specific prayer request that we lived through was having to move our store after 47 years and being told that our building had been sold, it was going to be torn down, and we really sought the Lord. What do we do? Do we retire? Do we move to a different location? And the things we wanted weren't necessarily how God answered, but He did lead very specifically, and we were able to stay in the same plaza, and our customers appreciate that God provided every penny that we needed. And we had a prayer team going about so many specific things. We all have difficulties, we all have challenges, and so we need prayer and we need God's Word as our foundation to get us through those things. Kevin Ferguson of Willamette Valley Christian Supply. 
My name's Kevin Ferguson, and my wife and I own the Christian Bookstore in Albany, Oregon, as well as in Centralia, Washington. The name of our store is Willamette Valley Christian Supply and Hallmark Gold Crown, and our store in Washington is Christian Outlet in an outlet mall. The store was already established. I'm the third owner, and the two owners previously are mentors of mine. I feel very privileged to be able to continue their legacy. So my wife and I were able to get the store in 2014. It wasn't something that I was planning. My wife and I were looking for a pastoral position at that time. I had just stepped out of a youth pastorate role at First Baptist, and we didn't know where God was going to take us next. But one of my college pastor friends came in and said, the Christian bookstore in Corvallis is hiring a manager. And I needed to put food on the table. I just finished seminary a second time. So I went down, applied, and got the job. That was in 2009-10. And then in 2014, by the grace of God, we were able to acquire the store there in Corvallis. And God saw a bigger platform. We get to now pastor and shepherd in the community like none other. And we have been so honored to be able to be a part of the ministries throughout our community. We also, though, have seen in the last couple of years where our store is a place of refuge. And people come, they just need a break. They want to come into a place where they can look at a book, maybe see something on the wall, but just kind of get out of the hardship of life. And we've been able to minister that way. Probably my most impacting story that made a huge difference in my life of understanding why God has put me in the store as a bookstore owner is when a lady came in, she was wearing that familiar hat. I knew what was going on. I was a little nervous to ask. She wanted some Bibles. I went back and helped her. And she goes, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I have cancer and yes, it's terminal and I don't have long to go, but I wanted to get these Bibles for my kids. So. As you can imagine, we are just starting to tear up and how do you take all that in? And she looked at us and said, now listen, I'm going on to be with Jesus. This is joyful for me, but I need to pass on his word to my kids and make sure that they experience the same joy I am. So can you put a name on each one? So we did that, we put a name on each one. And that day I was reminded why God opened the door for us to be in this ministry. Jesus listens makes sense as we come to God in dependence for prayer. For me personally, as my wife and I own and operate these Christian bookstores, we are constantly on our knees and on our face before God, depending upon Him to supply so that we can keep the stores alive and open with all the challenges that we've faced. Prayer is critical, and, and Sarah is is communicating to her readers how important it is to have a prayerful dependence in our God. I believe it's having a huge impact because it's a reminder that we all need to be dependent in prayer. Vicki Acord of the Olive Branch Bookstore. My name is Vicki Acord. I am the manager of the Olive Branch Christian Bookstore in Dublin, Georgia. I also do the book buying and the Bible buying. I've worked at the Olive Branch for about 15 years now. The Olive Branch has been in the Dublin area almost 40 years now. They started at a store called Pinholsters, and then Ken and Jewel Flanders purchased the store from Mr. and Mrs. Penholster. They've relocated several times, but the current location we've been in probably about 18 to 19 years. I believe it's important to have an independent bookstore in the community because you know the community. You know what the community is going to need, and you get to know those people as your own family. When they have a wedding, we will send wedding cards, or when there's a death in the family, we'll send bereavement cards. And you just build a relationship with these people, and they become your family. I have read Jesus Calling on different occasions throughout the whole time working there. It's the right words at the time that you need them. It's the Lord speaking to you through Sarah Young, and that's a lot of what we get back from our guests that come in the store as well. It just speaks to your heart, and it 
comforts you. It soothes your soul. We got Jesus Listens In at the store, and I do a small group study, and I gave it to the ladies in my small group study as a present for them. And they're like, oh, we've been wanting to do this. We want to build our prayer life. We want to be fervent prayers. So it has strengthened our prayer because it just helps you out in the ways like, oh, I don't know what to pray today. Here we go. I want to do this. Here you go. So it has strengthened that prayer life. And then we encourage each other through it. Hey, what did you get out of this prayer? What did you get out of this prayer? And we just talk through it as well. And it's just helps build your prayer life and strengthen your prayer life that much more. Dennis and Andrea Lovern of New Covenant Bookstore. My name is Dennis Lovern. This is my wife, Andrea. We own and operate New Covenant Christian Bookstore in Shelbyville, Tennessee. We've been doing this for 28 years, just serving a small community. The short version of how we got into Christian retail, Dennis was a butcher by trade, and I was a bookkeeper by trade, although I did have some retail experience as a high school student. But just as we were young in our marriage, he commented one day that he would just like to have a Christian bookstore. And I thought, well, that's kind of nice. But I wasn't anywhere to the point of wanting to leave my bookkeeping job. But the more we talked about it and planned and everything, it just seemed more like God was calling us to do that. And so after we'd been married, I guess about six years, we just decided to step out. And we had a friend at church who had a connection with an organization for independent Christian bookstores. And so we we went through that process to feel like we were being called to it. And just from there, everything just kind of fell into place with God's timing. We get to know our customers and we're able to get products that we know suits what's going on in our area because we get feedback from our customers. We know what's happening in, in their lives and we can steer them to books or products that are appropriate for what they're going through. And I don't know that you get that feel online or in, in a secular bookstore. I guess the thing that, that I've noticed the most with the Jesus Calling book is that when somebody purchases it for themselves, it's just a matter of time till they come back in and they're buying it for somebody else because they'll talk about how it impacted them. And what we always hear was every day when I read it, I feel like it was written especially for me on that day. And everybody says that. We had one gentleman that I don't know how many he purchased. He would get them a case at a time to give to people. I think that's the only gift he ever gave anybody. He believed in it so much. With all of the craziness that's going on in the world around us, I think people are recognizing the importance of direction from God. And I think it's making people spend more time praying for their personal lives, for their for their decisions that they make. And of course, we pray for our children and now our grandchildren. We understand the importance of a prayer for the people that we care about. Thank you for listening to this special bonus episode as part of the Jesus Calling podcast. Be sure and follow the Jesus Calling podcast so you can hear more stories. For more information on Jesus Calling and Sarah Young, please visit JesusCalling.com or visit us on our social media channels on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.